Hey everybody, this is day one for me with ZBrush 4R7. I'm really excited this is out and I'm starting to discover some of the tools that it has. So let's, let's um, explore some of those real quick. Let's start a new scene. Polysphere or Dynamesh. Okay, then switch that to uh, Cube 3D and hold Shift F to activate or turn on your polyframes just so you can see what's going on. Okay, and uh, zoom in by pressing F to frame everything. Now make poly mesh 3D. Now we can edit things. Now press B and at the bottom is a Z modeler. Make sure that's selected and you have a few more options with your Z spheres and whatever object you're working with. If you right click on a face, you get one menu. If you right click on an edge, you get a different menu. And if you right click on a vertex, you get this menu. So I'm not sure how those all work together, uh, but I'm starting to explore the faces. So right click on this and add to curve. If you click that and you click spheres, add to curve, uh, hold down alt. Um, now this is selecting numerous spaces that we can modify with the current brush that we've got. Uh, yeah, it does that. I'm not sure what this has to do with your scenes and stuff, but um, uh, so I'll get to that later. But uh, if we move on, bevel. Bevel's really exciting, especially if you like to make windows. Now it looks like... Um, if, yeah, if you hold down Alt, you have several faces that you can select or manipulate with whatever brush you're working on. So if I want to mani manipulate these, the other brushes that I've got selected will um, not work as well. I'm not sure what happened there, but let's keep going. Um, right click, bridge. Okay, this. Oh, this is really fun. If you click down, and then you drag um, in a direction it divides uh, in a bridge type fashion so click and drag yeah um, I'm uh, let's move over to the other side just to, oh yeah look at that holy crap that is a lot of faces that we can manipulate now yeah okay one more time click drag yeah see like that in a bridge type fashion that is very useful okay right click crease okay crease I'm not sure what that does it looks like it divides the box and stuff but I'm not sure delete pretty self-explanatory just deletes what it doesn't like to look at okay yep oh, wrong one okay do nothing doesn't do much so I'm gonna skip that Equalize. Sounds like fun. Mm, I don't know what that does. Not sure. Extrude. Okay. It pushes in or pulls out. Now this is exciting. Okay. Um, if I want this like that and I want more faces like that, just click and click and wherever you click it does the same thing so that's nice you can make a city like this sweet okay flip faces okay so that looks like it was deleted but flip faces suggests that it's on the inside which yeah never mind it's yeah it's it's actually facing the other direction like the name implies so, okay, inflate, no, didn't see much, I don't, I'm not sure what that did, okay, um, in, oh, insert nano mesh, that's exciting, yay, Cool. 
I'm not sure why it got that, but... Oh, is this the scene I'm working on? Cool, that's nice. That's useful. Uh, insert point. Okay. Alright, that... That makes sense. Nice. Uh, insert poly loops. Ooh, that's nice. I like that tool. Insert or inset. Nice. I'm gonna use that a lot. Mask. I think this just takes control of your uh, control button to mask things out, just like that. So that's good. Control Z. Right. Okay. Mesh to br uh, mesh to brush. Don't know what that's doing. Ah, move on. Uh, move. Okay, that looks like it works. Polygroup. I guess this takes different polygroups and moves them. Maybe. Or it makes polygroups. Oh, that's nice. Sweet. Okay. Nice. This brush has a lot of cool things in it. Okay. Polygroup. Let's see. Q mesh. Sounds devious. Oh, what is that doing? <gasps> uh oh. It uh, looks like it's inflating. Sweet. Pretty nice. Is it dividing as well? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's can be scary. Okay, let's undo. Um, actually, I'm going to move back to the beginning just so we can... Uh, you don't have to worry about space or anything. Or lag. Uh, okay. Right click. Scale. I have no idea what this is doing. Hmm. Hmm. It looks like it's scaling. Cool. Okay. Control Z. Control Z. Okay. Sphere eyes. Click and drag. Click and drag. I didn't see anything. Spin. Um, this rotates things in a circle type fashion. Okay. Spin edges. Edges, so these things. No, I don't, I didn't see anything. Okay, moving on. Split. Oh, fun. This reminds me of um, uh, glass windows. The Sweet. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, Zelda. Never mind. Um, <laughs> uh, spin. Spin. Oh, it, wait, what is it doing? Oh, no, I'm on the wrong menu. <laughs> okay, no, no, where is it? Hold on. No. Where was the menu we were, we were at? Oh, man, where'd it go? No. I've lost it. Spin, oh yeah, okay, here it is. Okay, transpose. Oh, that was interesting. Transpose uh, a single poly, all polygons, all quads, all tries. Let's do this. All triangles. Now the triangles in our scene will flip out. Oh, cool. Oh, transpose. The transpose tool. Yay. I'm going to use that. That's exciting. Control Z. Oh, I mean, it put me in transpose mode. Okay. Right click, unweld. No. 
Oh, what is that doing? <gasps> um, it's doing something. What is that doing? I have no idea. Does anybody see what that's doing? It's... Uh, I'm not sure. It's... Whatever it's doing, it's doing it. Okay, split. Split. Oh. Okay. So I want a polygon right here. Boom. Right here. Nope. Nope. Yep, right there. Sweet. That's a good way to make triangles. I like... Nope, not that many. Okay, Z modeler modifiers. What does that do? Didn't... Uh, no, I didn't see anything. S whoa. Um... Spin, split... Oh, whoa. Did I get lost? Stitch... That... I'm not sure what that does. Huh. Alright, let's go back to uh, Bevel. Bevel is the uh, window maker. Right? Now you can control, control, control. You can click one by one, or you can click and hold and hover over them to select multiple polygons and then you can use whatever tool you are trying to use on all of them. Oh, pretty sweet. Uh, yeah. So, um, if anybody else has any tips on how to use these brushes, please let me know and I hope you had fun. Thanks everybody.